Hi everybody, and with Wonder Woman Coaching, I am coming today to talk about running by yourself versus running with friends. Um, and first, just a touch about why I started running. Um, my husband runs, and uh, many of my friends run. I said for years that I didn't want to run. I'm not a runner. I don't like running. Um, but eventually, after going to all the races, I decided that I wanted to be a part of the race, not just spectating um, at the races. So I thought, why not try it out? So um, when you start running, there's a couple things you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need a plan. Um, I highly recommend the Couch 5K plan. There's many of them out there to choose from. You can pick the one that's um, right for you. Um, and then you also need to decide if you're going to run by yourself or if you're going to do your training with friends. Um, there's benefits to both. Some of the benefits of running by yourself is that you can set your own pace. Um, I have discovered that when I run with my friends, I tend to run faster. And as we've already discovered or discussed, I run fast to begin with anyway because I have a very hard time self-pacing. Um, so when you do run by yourself, you can set that own pace. And if you feel like you're running too fast, you can like stop and walk for a minute and reset or you can just slow down and helps you to guide yourself there. Um, it's also good because you're holding yourself accountable. Um, you have no one to answer to in the morning um, except for you so you don't have to worry about if someone's going to bail on you in the morning if you you know we're going to run somewhere together. Um, you can also concentrate on your breathing and your form. Um, if you're running with a group of people and you're chit-chatting sometimes it's hard to like keep that in check. So that's a good thing to check on when you're running by yourself. Um, and then you can also just to take the time for yourself. You can just zone out with your music if you're running with music. Um, it's a good stress reliever and you can just do what you need to do. Now the benefits of running with friends are, some of them are um, similar. Um, when your friends are going to keep you accountable. So if you know that you are going to hit the snooze button in the morning if no one's meeting you, that having somebody meet you at 5.45 in the morning for a run is going to make you more accountable and make you actually get out of bed and meet them to go for that run. I actually need this accountability most days, so this is a good one for me. Um, it's also a good time to just catch up and chat with your friends. Uh, if you hate running or you're having a bad run or you're having a bad day or whatever, your friends are a good way to distract you while you're getting those runs in. So this is a good thing. Um, also, depending on when and where you run, there's always safety in numbers. So again, a positive to running with friends. Um, if you have been running for a while and you want to push your pace a little, your friends are good for this, especially if they're slightly faster than you. Um, so they can help push you. In the same note, um, if you're running with your friends, they can sometimes like be more aware of your breathing. And if you're breathing heavier or faster than you should be, they can break you aware of that and you know tell you you should slow down your pace um, and then the biggest one is your friends are your best cheerleaders so um, there's good and bad to both um, I like both so I tend to depending on what my training is doing and how my day is going um, how my week is going sometimes I run by myself um, a lot of times I run with my friends so I mix it up during the week ultimately it's going to be up to you to decide what is best for you so I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.